Hey, what's up, geeks? So I have a shorty, but a goodie for you right now. Now I'm going to show you guys how to implement navigation refresh. Now the reason this is important is because when you're when you're working as a uh, a developer for a company, somebody hires you on, they want data to flow through the application seamlessly. So for those of you who are no stranger to mobile development, you know that when you actually um, add that API call to your application, that API call gets called once. So if there's any kind of actions called within your application or any kind of data is updated, the application won't reflect that data. So we need a way to control that. We could use a pull down refresh, but for most companies, they want that data to open up automatically. They want the users to have the most, they want to ensure that users have the most recent data. So the best way to do that, right now I'm at React Navigation's website, and they have a built-in function called Add Listener. Now Add Listener has this uh, focus um, parameter that we can reference when we actually use that function. There's a few more here as well. I haven't used it yet. But you guys can come to React Native, uh, React Navigation's website and check that out for yourself. Now, I'm going to go to um, my project. And if you guys watched last week's video, this is basically, um, this is what I did in last week's video. I showed you guys how to basically pass data between screens using stack navigation. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go to my home screen. Okay, you see we already have navigation. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import use effect. Okay, and I'm also going to install. So make sure you guys type this in if you're following this. Yarn, yarn add Axios. All right, and Axios is going to allow us to call our um, API calls. All right. So I'm not sure if I have to restart the application, but I'm just going to go ahead and flow through it. So I'm going to import Axios from Axios. Okay. And now I'm going to use the use effect. I'm going to add navigation that add listener. Like I said, we're going to use uh, focus. So once our screen, once our screen comes into focus, we create use a callback function, and this is where we're going to make our API call. All right. So one second, let me go to actually have some of this um, code out for you guys. So I'm going to say Axios dot. Well, let me do my async and I'm going to say await axios do I have to add that async call right here oh no let's see what's supposed to be async right here Sorry about that so let's say axios I hate it when my fan gets loud like that. This is like with the newer Macs. It shouldn't be this loud. But um, I'm going to reference the uh, URL for the API call. So I'm going to say, actually save that. So I'm using this dummy API link. And um, back to my project. I'm going to use this API. All right. Now, I'm going to say bin response. And then um, if there's an error, I'm just going to say uh, catch or error. I'm just going to alert. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go back to my project. Now I'm also going to console on the console log this data. So we console log response. Alright, now I'm going to check out my debugger, make sure that's working. 
okay. Now, let's see if we're gonna actually make that API call. It tried to make this API call, but it says it cannot load empty, empty URL. So one second, let me check this out, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm actually updating my console log for response, and that's really all I did. Now, when we go back, we go from this screen, and I'm gonna go make sure I have my, uh, go from our uh, post screen, and then go back to our home. And now you can see we're making that call. And we have our data, when we check our data, you can see we're getting back all of our employees all of our data so that's how you use navigation refresh definitely as if you're a um, serious about mobile development this is a must-have um, I actually didn't add the loader to that but you guys can figure that out I mean just go to react Native's website and just check out how to add a, uh, a loader um, feature but anyways that's how you add navigation refresh to your um, your application hopefully you found this helpful like comment subscribe and I'll catch you next time peace